next on Nickelodeon, it's Roundhouse, followed by Nick News. Long ago, before the invention of air conditioning, there existed a strange world. But sometimes it was cold. Sometimes there were bugs. And sometimes it was so hot that you would sweat. Yeah, you would like melted stuff. And the place was called outside. Oh, dude, that is so lame. Nobody goes outside anymore. No, it's true. As a matter of fact, I'll be outside all summer. Tomorrow, I'm headed up to Camp Pickabooga on the shores of beautiful Lake Kokorugi. Ah, uh, swing from this monkey boy. You wouldn't catch me dead going to camp. Now, just a pre hugging minute. Nerdy Kid here was just telling me how much fun camp is, and it just so happens that I saved up enough money recycling your father's tub hair to sign up both you and your brother for Camp Guadalada. Camp Champ! Listen, I got a plethora of pleasurable things planned for you, putzes. Go, Daddy! Go, Daddy! Go, Daddy! Yeah! Like repainting the house, polishing your grandma's plastic fruit, buffing no my butt. No, Daddy! No, Daddy! No, Daddy! Where's my butt? Wait for us! We don't have any equipment. Don't you know how this show works? They just come in and sell us stuff. Hello, imperialistic American swine. Looking for fancy pocket knife for counter force fish prices? Then you need Iraqi army knife. Well, does it have a lot of stuff? Jimmy's knife has a can opener. The Iraqi army knife only comes with one tool. Big white flag. That's it? What a gift. Egypt, we didn't do anything to Egypt, I swear. I surrender to you, Yankee camera person. Would you like to buy a thin man? Oh, I surrender to you. Could be selling dragon wind. I don't know. Didn't we beat you like a no hump camel in Desert Storm? Yes, you did beat the falafel out of us. Please buy my knife. Okay, just give it to me. Thank you. Thank you, North American Bosom Youth. Buy your like Academy knife today. It's Salam. Goodbye. Okay. First of all, everybody join hands and sing a verse of Kumbaya, man. Remember those great times at Camp Sakalata? Group sing alongs are always real neat. Yeah, what? You don't have to roll up your cracker spoons with your sleeping bag because K O H O probably presents Summer Camp Gold. You'll get hits like the annoying song, the real irritating song, the extended 12 inch remix of a repetitive and long song. And what delights in of outdoor favorites would be complete without the I hate camp and some kid in the upper bunk peed on me. And I'd rather stand in fire than sing with all these weird smelling family songs. Is that Summer Camp Gold? Please keep your bows in check until the bus has come to a complete halt. Boring. This book's my haunted. I wish there was something fun to do. Hey, I was just going to say that. Well, my little red riding hoodlums, just because your lame boy's gone bye-bye doesn't mean the fun's finished. No. Here in the woods, there are dozens of games you'll be itching to play. Games like Poison Ivy Twister. Oh, and Hide and Go Leak. And Tic Tac Toe with real tic. by Jaded Suzuki Camp Town Tours everywhere who remind you not to mess with us or we might just be raptors in Romeo. <laughs> well, we finally made the camp make a wee-wee. Yeah, it's just like on TV, only a whole lot bigger. Zag, you die and any kid. You've just written 
14 hours over windy, bumpy roads. What are you going to do? Pearl? No, you're going to take a nap. You're bunking over there with Tom Arnold. Where? <laughs> yes, you're over here under me. It's a good thing Rosie left, because, man, she snored like a monster trucker. Hey, did I ever tell you that I used to be a butcher? Yeah, I used to cut up cows. I've heard stuff. of sleeping under the stars, but this is ridiculous. Hey, I got to use the bathroom again. And it's freezing outside. Mm. Hey, how come you never go to the bathroom? Well, that's because I use deep end sleeping bags. <laughs> the combined diaper and sleeping bag all in one. They're disposable and they keep you dry all night. Um, I'm not sold. Will it keep my butt cheeks warm and comfy? Here's a pair of butt cheeks being placed on a deep end sleeping bag. <sighs> and here's some butt cheeks on a competing brand of diaper sleeping bags. With deep end, you get no moisture and no blue water with writing on it. These sleeping bags even have self-adhesive tape, so I don't have to worry about the zipper getting stuck. <laughs> deep end sleeping bag. Look for coupons in the latest edition of Field and Stream. Why don't you just use the latrine? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Studies show that 9 out of 10 outhouse users can't hold their breath long enough to get them through to the wipes. So that's why they're slime latrine mist. Slime latrine mist contains pollen and ragweed to close breathing tubes fast. And for extra protection, there's this added breakthrough ingredient. It really works. I can't smell a thing. That's slime latrine mist. Also good for lot of rooms, Jaime Fish Market, and Cleveland. I don't know, Jack. Leaky latrines, bad buses, irritating Iraqis. Compared to spending the summer as Dad's yard wench, this isn't half bad. Hey, look, it's the camp director's tent. Wouldn't that be a terrible television irony if you turn out to be just like Dad? Bite your tongue. Hold my hand. Pull my finger. <laughs> Turn in a moment. Sing Nickelodeon, and now back to Roundhouse. Oh, man. Oh, this bites for cats, 
dude. Ah, but the fire is cool. <laughs> you give me flame proof marshmallows. Flame proof marshmallows resist fires that destroy unprotected s'mores. Hey, look, our imaginary fire isn't even touching them. Mm. Oh, this tastes like the white dust that falls on our lunch when they've broken the cafeteria ceiling. That's because flame proof marshmallows are made from asbestos from your very own school. Aren't they going to make us sick? Yeah, but they won't catch on fire. Well, what's the point? Nothing. But at least they won't catch on fire. Hey, kids. My name is Camp Counselor Chester. Go, Chester. Go, Chester. Go, Chester. And I think it's time we all huddle up and tell ghost stories. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> no, not you. Coming this summer from 20th Century Shot. Robert De Niro, starring in Fear. Hey, Camp Lore. You see the tattoo on my chest? What, that little bunny rabbit? No, next to that. He says, vengeance is mine. I spent 14 months sleeping with the nightlight on because your spooky campfire story scared the way way out of me. I never want to scare you with stories like the one about the hooks hanging from the car door. Or the one about the maniac screaming from upstairs. Upstairs! This girl never give it two thumbs up.
Stay tuned. Roundhouse will return in a moment. You're watching Nickelodeon, and now back to Roundhouse. Where do you go to the bathroom out here? Well, let me put it to you this way. Does a bear take a seat in the woods? Yeah. So do you. Oh, great. Now everybody knows I'm going trekking in the trees to ease out of redwood. Does fur lies in the forest leave you feeling wide open? Well, then you need grass wipes. The camouflage toilet tissue made of grass and leaves. Wow, it's rigid and abrasive and yet helps protect the spotted bow. Give it a try. <laughs> Worried about the environment? Well, grass wipes come from the earth. And with your own natural mold, <sighs> returns to the earth. I got a twig stuck in my grass wipe for all your outdoor needs. And if you want to keep that fresh pine scent once you're back indoors, try grass real turf. Chester, how are we going to find our way back to camp? We're not. You mean we're going to die? No, camp is going to find us. Every year I get a bunch of helpless city youths lost in a wilderness. We spend a couple of days drinking our own sweat and then we get rescued. No big whoop. Forget you. We're going to find our own way out of here. Oh, well, well suit yourself. But, but when you die of starvation and, and rabid wolverines gnaw on your entrails, don't come crying to me. <laughs> Wait, don't leave me here. <laughs> well, now that we've gotten rid of Chester, we're going to have to fend for ourselves. But we're city folk. What do we know about fending? Coming soon to a summer camp near you. Two underprivileged urban kids learn to survive when they're given a trip to summer camp in Boys in the Wolf. Okay, campers, what are we bound to eat? Mm. I'm eating free bars. Grass. Yeah, Domino's, I'm like a dominator with extra cheese. Y'all want any squishy bread with y'all weed? <laughs> Perhaps maybe we should just work on our moose mating code. Ooh! Oh, woo -hoo! <laughs> Yo, moose, maybe what's up here? Come here, you big booty moose. Okay, campers, let's get out and sing some songs. Yeah, this summer when you head for the woods, bunk with a boy. It's cold out here. Let's start a fire. Yeah. Heidi ho, campers. Need a light? Hey, you're Roy Rogers. Actually, the name's Corduroy Rogers. I can light a campfire just by rubbing my corduroys together. Stand back, I'm gonna light you a hot one. but I've never eaten fire. No, stupid. Let's gather some nuts and berries for dinner. Hello, I'm Alex Triplack, and this is Animal or Deadly. You each have two berries in front of you. One is a tasty treat, the other one will kill you. Make your Animal or Deadly choices now. Okay, time is up. Camper number one, which berry did you choose? I chose the one on the right, Alex. Ooh, so close. The correct berry was the one on the left. Camper number two, you seem to be pretty sure of yourself. Which berry did you choose? Oh, once again, right is wrong. Looks like camper number three has moved into first place. Hey, 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 no changing your answer. Oh. Well, looks like that's all the time we have for today on Animal or Deadly. Join us next time for Seniors Week with returning champion, Dr. Kevorkian. Tonight's second and third place contestants will see. Oh, never mind. Animal or Deadly assures you that no berries were hurt in the playing of this game. Hey, did you hear that? What? Listen, it's getting louder. Is that sure we can't go? Turn it up, man! We did it! We made it back to camp on our own! Yeah!
Welcome home, kids. Oh, well, I guess it's the part where you say you had such a lousy time at camp, you're ready to come home and do all my chores for me. Actually, dealing with hardship has taught us self-reliance. Maybe doing the chores yourself will teach you some. Are you going to sit there and let them talk to their father like that? Say something. Okay. Reprise the theme song and roll the credits. Whenever my life is going down, I Even if your school's closed tomorrow, go to school with Welcome Freshman when Nickelodeon takes you on a two-week field trip to Hawthorne High, starting tomorrow at 5 o'clock, 4 Central, only on Nick. Now, stay tuned for Nick News, next, right here on Nick.